brought to you by BMW, global partner of the 35th America's Cup. You have to dig deep to discover what separates the challenger and defender in the 35th America's Cup. Both Oracle Team USA and Emirates Team New Zealand have long and impressive histories. Both have powerful lineups afloat and strong, committed teams ashore. Both share the same innovative approach to development at the leading edge of the sport, and both want the cup. After three weeks of racing on the Great Sound in Bermuda, the fight for the richest prize in sailing is about to take place between two equally hungry teams. The most evenly matched America's Cup in modern history? The evidence speaks for itself. Identical scores in the Louis Vuitton America's Cup qualifiers, both won eight of their ten matches. Only a bonus point for Oracle Team USA, gained in the America's Cup World Series, split the pair on the scoreboard. But there is another difference. Both of New Zealand's losses in the qualifiers were to the defenders. Oracle Team USA know that will not be enough. They know that the Kiwis are fast. They've seen the power of their cyclones. And they've witnessed Team New Zealand's flawless maneuvers. But they've also seen helmsman Peter Burling's reluctance to engage in the pre-start. They know how his team relies on its sophisticated control systems. And they've seen how the challengers can be tackled using conventional match racing tactics. Yet neither side is taking anything for granted. The weather has already played a huge part in the 35th America's Cup. Selecting the right configuration for the day has been key. Put simply, success will start with staying airborne. Both teams can do it, but the team that blinks first will drop off the pace in a heartbeat. The story of the last America's Cup in San Francisco in 2013 focused on a comeback. Having lost from being 8-1 up to see the defenders win 9-8, New Zealand wants revenge. Brought to you by BMW, global partner of the 35th America's Cup.